Yol Chairperson Ms. Betrila Lohe, our most respected and honored special guest, Dr. Pete Paul Gaur Patra, IPS, Superintendent of Police Pack. Respected headmaster and teaching faculty, President PTCSU, Mr. Vesovo and his colleagues, President PTYS, Heck, most respected parents, invitees. Alumni students, the teaching staff and non teaching staff of Royal Foundation School Pack, and also my dear students. I take this privilege to stand here and share some of my vision for which I started this school. Uh, today, this school was started by my brother Chowode and myself in 2000, uh, in 19, 1991, 99, sorry. Why I started this school? Way back in 1989, when I came back after completing MBBS, I found that I was the only doctor in this whole area, head area. In six years, I mean, sorry, 34 years, 34 years, that is from 1989. As far as I remember, another six doctors have come out from this head area. So, if you look at this, 34 years back, I was the second person to pass out NPSC from this whole area. The first was from your department, Mr. Vichy Parvese, he is retired now. <coughs> so, when you look at this scenario, I could see that heck area was the educationally the most backward area or pocket in the whole of heck district. I should say that we missed the opportunity way back in maybe in late 1970s. The, there was a plan to open a Catholic school in uh, Peg Village, but because of some like a misunderstanding or religious fanaticism, the school could not be opened. It was taken away to some other place. So we missed that great opportunity. And our area became remained educationally very, very backward. This burden was giving me the pain. I had a feeling of pain for this burden. So I was thinking what to do to lift up our people in the field of education. To start a school was not even in my dream. It was not even my imagination. After being in the service for maybe eight, nine years, I a thought came to my mind that in order to lift up our people, the best thing to do is to start a school, impart quality education to our people. 
this came from my personal experience also. I became a victim of injustice. Finally, I realized in my own profession, I was uh, like uh, victimized. Then it came to my mind that I was very angry, but I decided that I should pay back the bad with the good. So, what came to my mind was that once education is given to our children, they will know how to fight for their own right, even when denied. Education is very, very important weapon to fight for your right. So I decided that I should start a school. But not as early as 1999. I thought it would take me some time uh, uh, some time to plan for it. But the public demand was so high. So this was, was started when the need was felt the most by the people of this uh, hectown and surrounding villages. Without the cooperation and moral support of the public leaders in this town, this starting the school could, have, could not have been possible, but everybody extended cooperation, moral support, material support, everything. So I should say that this school was started with the participant, a participation of the people itself. It was not what I started, but started by the people. <coughs> We started, all of a sudden, we started in 1999, there was no time. We made preparation only by August, September 1998 like that. So it was a Herculean task for me. The first school building site was uh, like, uh, there where Hoshi Bakery is now. It was a private residence. There was no time for us to construct a new school building, so we somehow shifted uh, my brother to uh, look uh, another place and then started the school there. With the support and cooperation of the public, we are grateful to the to that and the Deputy Commissioner Nurohu Toto for giving us this space to shift to, uh, uh, to this location. Traditionally, this, long, uh, this land belongs to me, but being under the town court area, we sought the permission from the deputy commissioner and he allotted this site to us. So we are grateful to the deputy commissioner as well as the entire public of this town. Our idea of starting this school, idea as well as responsibility of starting this school, opening this school is to see or to put students, uh, to top priority to, to students' welfare and interest. To give them quality education. I have seen that in the past, I don't know about now, that most of the private schools are not uh, like uh, profitable in this town. So many of the schools, they are not able to do justice to the teachers. Teachers were not well paid. So what I felt was that if I want to start a school, I should see that the teachers are well paid. They should be paid in time, in food. 
by which only I, I'll be able to extract the best out of their uh, minds. So that was our idea of starting this school. With only 110 students in 2000, uh, 1999, the school was a deficit run school for six to seven years. But we started this school not with commercial motive. I am a firm believer that there is no need for exploitation or uh, to manipulate profit. Once the school comes up like, uh, and get a reputation, profit is automatic. That was what I believe. So even though the school was running at a deficit for six to seven years, somehow we managed it. We overcame it. And I should say that now with the cooperation of the parents, we may not be generating a huge profit, but we are not running at a loss. So thank you so much. <coughs> Our school has a tradition that whenever we invite any learned person like our madam to grace the occasion or any of our functions, we follow no give and take tradition. We don't give, we don't expect to receive. That was our tradition. Now our aim is to impart quality education for all round development of the child. Many schools admit only meritorious students who are securing 80, 80, 90 percent marks. They will admit only those students to their schools and then when the HSLC result or higher secondary school result comes out, it comes out in flying colors, 100%, doctors and whatnot. It is good in one way, to like uh, instill the spirit of competitiveness. But in this, in this age of competition, where is the place for the weak students? Every school rejects the weak students. So, in this aspect, it is my idea and also commitment that if we can make a weak student, a good student out of a weak student, that is an achievement. If you are making a good student out of a good student, no doubt that is also an achievement but at a different level. So at the other level, my aim was that we should be able to make weak students to become good. That was our idea. So there is not much like, uh, we, we don't do any discrimination in terms of admission, in terms of like uh, other issues, we we don't make any discrimination. Of course, other terms and conditions apply. Then, it is not just to give quality education to the students. We also make a commitment that in the near future, our vision is to impart skill development. We want to skill the students. We all know that all the students will not be meritorious. All students will not be passing competitive examinations. 
all students will not be getting the privilege to go for technical education. A large chunk of students will be left out with average performance or below average performance in order to give this group of students meaningful and gainful employment. Our vision is to develop or impart skill development to the students through vocational courses. Then we want to take our school to a new level of competition. We don't have any rival schools or challenger schools. We treat all the schools equally. We engage ourselves only in healthy competition. We don't take any school as our rival schools. Our aim is to assure to give a short future through gainful employment in both public and private sectors. In this aspect, I am proud to say that now many of our many of our alumni students have made achievements in their personal lives. Many of them have passed out NPSC, other competitive examinations, and, uh, and, and third into public sector employment. Others have engaged themselves in private sectors in different fields of professions. I am sorry that because of communication gap, we are not able to give the figure, but from what I see the, from the report, out of 557 students that have passed out matriculation from this school since 2008 uh, until uh, last year, 2023. I believe by rough estimate, at least 30, 40 students must have like uh, achieved or even more than, more than that have achieved what they want in their life. So I'm proud to say that, uh, that uh, to a great extent, our vision has been fulfilled and we look forward to better days ahead. Our aim is also to make our students good citizens of their country by giving them value-based education, ethical education. Our motto or our school team is winner, winner strong. The school, name of the school is Royal Foundation School. Why we use this name, Royal in the sense when you achieve your life ambition, you become somebody, you become king or queen of your own, that is royal. And in order to achieve that, a strong foundation is required. That is what we plan to give and to a great extent we have achieved. In this wall of competition, the winner takes it all. The loser don't get anything, the winner takes it all. So our motto is that our students should wear the winner's crown. Our curriculum is based on NCRT from pre-primary to class 8 exclusively NCERT. Plus 9 and 10, we are following the NBSEs uh, like uh, prescribed textbooks given by SCRT. Hindi was introduced with the 
aim of encouraging our students to learn, especially the spoken Hindi. So we use Hindi belt, Hindi textbooks, and we encourage our uh, Hindi teachers to teach the students only in Hindi, converse in Hindi. Teaching faculty as in 2004, or for 24. Now we have uh, two thirds of the teaching staff who are trained. Initially, it was very, very difficult to, to get even two, three trained teachers. But now, with the facilities available, training, uh, various training institutes, people, uh, teachers training. The numbers are also increasing. So at least two thirds of our teachers are now trained and in a year or two we plan to have only trained teachers in this group. <clears throat> From the report we have heard our achievements. HSLC results that itself is the testimony. Our lowest performance was 91 percent. In 16 years of uh, appearing matriculation, uh, 70 years, uh, we could not make make it to 100 percent four times. Even then. 91% was the lowest. The rest of the years, we have made it to 100%. And for the seventh consecutive year, including this 2024, we have been able to um, make it to 100%. So we are thankful and taking this privilege. I also congratulate those students, so the batch of 2023, who, whose result was declared just yesterday with 100% result. I give them a big congratulation. Can you all join me, uh, join me in giving a big uh, hands 